Crystal G, be honest in myself, Kevin Davis, we are Music Love Life. And uh, welcome back, y'all. Good to see you. <laughs> and you as well. And you as well. Yes. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Did you um, notice my intention? Your intention? I, in- I intended something, and I, I, it's gone, so far it's gone unrecognized. Oh? <laughs> I mean, you, is, is we're that, just no. This, this looks. Well, you got pink luster eyes. No, 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 no. That that's that's that stays lovely. I'm talking about shiny today. Talking about something else. You're not paying attention. Like if we're only one week removed from our show about black excellence, and there I go again, fucking it up with a Captain America T-shirt. <laughs> well, I, I thought that wouldn't be lost on you guys. I, I, I did come to rep. I, I am I am in full protest wear. Oh, yes, uh, not on uh, our watch. Not on our watch. Which watch are you on? I have a fist yes, yet again. I'm on my watch. Yeah, what watch is that? happen on my watch. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Snitches. Like all of, all of your shenanigans. That. Not on my watch. Have you seen that clip where she's Who? Ilyana Van Zandt? She does. She's Who's like, that? Inyanla is Inyanla. always doing... Inyanla Van Zandt. Okay. Yeah. You said uh, Ayana. I didn't know who that was. I said Inyanla Van Zandt. I, I've never watched that either, though. Is that good? Not have you watched where, where that? she's like fixing someone's life? Yes. Have you, have you ever watched that? Up. And y'all be fucking up people's life. I don't think that. I'm a fan of some of some of the shows. Atlanta, a young would be like, hey, let me come <laughs> get in your <laughs> business. Atlanta. Let me, let me stir some shit up. No, I think that some people really need someone to make them look at themselves. Anyway, let's look at you and the fact that you are... Did you know that? No, I was ignoring your shade. <laughs> Black Panther yeah, was... continues to to break records this week with making over seven hundred and eight million dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. I think it's going to be the first film to crack a billy. Well, we're almost there. Yeah, that'd be dope. Really? Yeah, that'd be dope. A billion. I'm I'm just trying to balance this motherfucker out because it's so much <laughs> Black Panther. I really this, hope Black Panther that that people support take this same. Fervor and and excitement into a wrinkle in time to support Ava DuVernay, Oprah Winfrey in a couple of weeks. I hope so. I just don't know that there's the same. <laughs> like like I hate that we do that sometimes. We'd be mm-hmm. like, "Well, you gave all of the thing that it, like yeah, people no. were excited about Black Panther for a reason. People were excited about Black and Panther something for like else. over a few years. Leading and there were up, even yeah. people saying, "Oh, well, there are other black superheroes. Yeah. Black Panther ain't special. Yes. Hey, but it wasn't at this time and you yeah. know this climate and all of that. Like a lot of stuff comes together." To it did. Give you the that stars kind of were hype. aligned for that. Right. Have you guys watched Black Lightning? What is that? I'm not. It is, is a that black a porno? super. No. <laughs> it is a black superhero movie that comes on the CW. Oh. It's on on demand. It's a movie or a show? It's a show. It's oh, okay. a series. Yeah. No. Okay. I want you guys to watch it before Black Lightning. Black yeah. Lightning. What's Can't it wait. about? And it is a black superhero. He's a principal of a school. <laughs> did you lean in because you were interested, or did you? It looked like you leaned he in. He leaned in with sarcastic. No, seriously, <laughs> it was definitely sarcasm. In my... I, I'm telling you, I, I promise. And I talked to a lot of my journalist cohorts, and they loved it. And I, I was, <laughs> they went to like a press junket. Okay, for it. first problem, CW. CW used to make great television. Do you when? remember when Moesha was on CW? Uh, Moesha and the Wayans brothers and the Parkers. And you know what? Somehow, CW's response actually that was UPN. That was UPN. Okay, the same yeah, yeah. same type of thing though. Right. Yeah, but not the same thing though. Kind of sort of. CW they get, they get hot by putting on black programs and then so does VH1. <laughs> they, VH1 the hottest, keep, keeps us on. No, the hottest black show was on Fox, which is Martin. I agree. Martin was agree the hottest that. black show probably ever. I don't. I can't think of another show besides Def Comedy Jam where no matter where I was, it was Martin also. I had to stop doing what I was doing to get home. Yeah. To see Martin and or Def Comedy Jam. I don't. I've never there. Well, except for the Cosby Show, because I can watch the Cosby Show now, and it's like every every episode, even though I've seen it a thousand times, is like the first time. Right. Martin, I can watch. I, I so you don't watch it differently now. I don't. As of the accusations? What about Fresh Prince? I was going to say that because my, my daughter and my son, they feel that way about Fresh Prince like I feel about Martin. They was, I mean, literally, they feel the Fresh Prince was like the Cosby show of their time. 
Mm, I, I, I felt like the, the Fresh Prince was our time too, though. But they were coming up. You know what I mean? Because I, oh, I, I Fr- well, Fresh Prince was what on, year? Because I was like, when Martin came out, that was what, was 93, college. 92, 93? Yeah. I, I know I was in college. Yeah, I would say so. On. Hmm. It was before we, we would get. We it would was get, before college for us. But Martin wasn't. That. Well, I'll say this: Martin was like the crew. It was that was like me and my everybody friends, wanted you know the relationship right. of Martin but and Gina. Yeah, I felt like no. Fresh Prince was definitely more family oriented. You know, you got Tatiana Ali when she was this tall. You know what right. I mean? But I did. I, I looked at them like I didn't look at them like like with Cosby Show. I felt like that was my age group. Like my mom and we were watching yeah. together. And then when the Fresh Prince came out, I didn't feel like I was the you same. You were a teenager though, right? I don't think so. I think that they were. I could have sworn we were teenagers when Fresh Prince came out. I mean, Will Smith is like literally around our age, so maybe a little bit. He's a little bit older. A little older, yeah. yeah. So I don't. I could have sworn we were teenagers. I think that my kids probably watched reruns. I don't know if, if they may have watched reruns. And our kids are exactly the same age. They I, are, but I think. Oldest but I too. But they look at that show like we've had those conversations. Even J Cole possibly talks about J Cole the song. He said, yeah. you know, uh, Uncle Phil was the dad. They that was their Cosby Show. Definitely, it was years yeah. before the Cosby Show. And there were a lot a young of black. Dad. <laughs> I was <laughs> you a young mom as well. We were. <laughs> we were Uncle both Phil was less rapey. College parents. Don't say that. What? Oh my God! Ugh. I was just—we were just having a conversation without all the negativity towards our really? black heroes. I, I hey, don't I, call him rapist. So Cosby is still a hero? Hero? He's still. I. He's because, still. Bill Cosby is, is he still he legendary? He saves still more unmatched. than he rapes. Could he get it? No, that's oh. not even the type of person he was. I mean, he was never a sex what do you symbol. Mean? So, right. but he's a Early hero. On. He wasn't a sex symbol. It's fifty five women I saying can't. Yeah, this, is what are you what this is not even what we were. This is not even. But he's you, not know, our production notes. you know why though? Because everybody, everybody wants to fuck the richest guy in the world. Like, how are you not a sex symbol if you if you rate more women than you had movies? Uh, Kevin. <laughs> I started it. Then, uh, Fifty-five women say this dude put something in his dress. Like what? Black Lightning. Black Lightning <laughs> is a black superhero on the CW. I want you guys to watch. No. I'm gonna send you the link. I, I just want you to watch one. Send me the link. Send me the link. I'll check it. Where, is, where can you get the CW to, on, these it's days? It's on demand if you have Comcast. Mm, don't have but it. he is. He is a superhero that is trying to help his community, right? Mm. And there's this independent rap music that plays. <laughs> it, it you have to watch you it. You said it's on demand. It's on demand. Is it on Fire Stick? It's, it, <laughs> <laughs> That's where I watch a lot of stuff. <laughs> Me. I even got Cody on my Apple TV. Like it's just it's bad. I'm telling you, you can find it. I know you can find it, but you guys got to watch it. Because do you remember Living Single? I don't remember yeah. the actor's name, but you remember Scooter, Khadijah's boyfriend Scooter. Okay. I'm so dating myself, but if you're watching this yeah. podcast, you are one of us. He is Black Lightning. Okay. So he's the most unlikely superhero. He has not spent the time in the gym that Michael B. Jordan spent. This may be a better black super, superhero for you. No, Your wife is not going to no. be upset. You still got to be able to look up to like a superhero. He has this suit that's like... It is. It is. You have to watch. You know, it. Only superhero in sweatpants. <laughs> it's a. It's a real suit, but it's like it's it's like neon, and it, it looks like like your. It looks like a Halloween costume. Kind of like handyman. Kind of like handyman. And nobody looked up to handyman. Or blink. Or what is blank it? Blank man. man blank yeah. man. Or, it, oh yeah, blank, blank man. man that's what it was. I enjoyed blank man. Or meteor man. Meteor there were lots man, of black yeah. superheroes. I, I, you know, Black Panther may be like fourth. I can't on the remember. list. I used to call. You remember that? The, I used to tell somebody they looked like the Golden Lords. Never heard of that. Flash. You remember that? Flash. It was a black young teenage boy that was like the superhero. Flash hero. Jordan. Flash J- Jackson. It was Flash. It was on like Nickelodeon. Yeah, and yeah. he and I, and Man, this, and yeah. when they discontinued it, I wrote in right because Stone loved it. My son loved it, so I wrote in. I was like, please don't discontinue this show because my son looks up to it. There aren't very many, you know, blacks um, positive role <laughs> models, and not like they would have like guests. I think Shaq and different people on there. So I wrote into the people. I, I researched. I wrote in, and the people <laughs> they sent me back this really condescending email that was like, "Well, you know, I'm sure your son screw your kid." Yeah, basically, like <laughs> your son did not does not need did not say he wants more positive. We sure that they basically they were saying it was me that wanted the show and not my son. Like wow. I'm sure he's not uh, you know really oh, nice. upset about it. it. Was really and my son actually really did. It should was, have had a press release. Uh, I should have. That's before I was a publicist. No. I was just a you know a mom that was trying to help her son. I was like, no, all the little black boys look up to this superhero, and they were like, screw you. It's See that, and, and, and I think that 
adds to the uh, the importance of of black pair. I don't want yeah. everyone to go like superhero frenzy, like they're making all. I don't think all they're the not going to. Trust I don't think they are. <laughs> trust right. me, nobody let's, is. Let's not go. Over <laughs> I don't think we they won't. Are. Right. <laughs> yeah. So rest easy. <laughs> if I'm, we I'm were gonna, again. if we were gonna pick one, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't. Even, I don't think that Black Panther would be the number one superhero people would want to be. I don't think little black kids are like, oh, Black Panther's the guy I want to be. I think they do now. Uh, just you because see the video that I, the that I sent current. you with the little the little mix boy was like, oh, I thought I was black. Right. I want to be black because yeah. Black Panther <laughs> was so cute. But I do think the kids are going to say and, and, and want to be either one of them. They may want to be Michael B. Jordan. Well, I do think it's important for children to be able to see themselves. Yeah. Right? Whether it's cartoon or whatever. Like, I still, I, with with my kids, are they're super smart. I mean, only only one and two. And I try to at least, I still put on Little Bill. Oh yeah, we watched Little Bill Cosby, too. Cosby, but I still put on Little Bill just so they yeah. can see because it's Someone not looks really. Like them. So, can I tell you a many story black about cartoons little, of little boys? I tell you a story about Little Bill though. What? And Stone's gonna get mad at me. He hates the podcast anyway because I always you know talk about him. Because you but, say his name. But I'm well, yeah. Notice nobody else says any names. It's just you. Have you noticed? Anyway, that? so <laughs> so I bought him a Little Bill jacket when he was like. <laughs> <laughs> so he was in you like You suck as a mom That is Oh my god Could you imagine Going to got, school In that you jacket You teased for it So I, so I know. Wait does he have Little Bill head He got Little Bill head No he doesn't But he Little Bill head. did have It was a big Little Bill head On the back of the jacket So wow. I noticed that he, didn't, he wasn't taking the jacket You know the, He was wearing the jacket But he didn't seem To like the jacket But he would put it on In the morning And so I, I said Stone What's You know What's wrong Why don't you want To wear the jacket And he said The kids are Beating me up Or trying to beat me up Because of my jacket And I said Well why do you keep wearing it He said Because it's not what they say It's what I say And you bought it for me So he was I was causing him To get in fights Every day Because of the little bill jacket And he was completely wrong It is what they say it is not. Yes, it is. Come on. It is not. It's, tough, it's tough being black and gifted. He's, <laughs> well, come on. It is what they he say. He was fighting every he's day black over nerd. the jacket. He's a black nerd. And when you're hanging around all the kids whose mamas let them listen to Gucci Mane, right. yeah, you might have to defend yourself. <laughs> It's but not I what felt I so said. bad because I was putting him in something that was Gucci, causing him <laughs> that was causing him to get beat up or or to get picked on. He was having to fight yeah, through suck. the little bill jacket. How did you guys both know that would cause a kid to get picked on? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I would never do that to my kid. I didn't never, know that. never. Yo, watch it all day on TV. Never wear the jacket. <laughs> Oh wow! How old was he then? You were going too far. He was like four, though. He was like he was kindergarten. He was like five. It's too young to get bullied. But you, he was getting bullied. You put him in the spotlight. <laughs> okay, so you remember those? They knew he was lame then. <laughs> you remember those shoes he used to light up? The shoes yeah. like he was walking. In. Yeah. Would you ever get your kids one of those? I did. I did. I don't hey, see a problem with those. Okay, hey, both of y'all. Hey, what? whatever. I, you can wear those at any school I ever went to. There was no school that I went to where you could wear those see, shoes. See, we lived in Oklahoma. At what age? When the LA Fitness first came out with them. When, at, well, no, not LA age? Gear. LA Gear. Remember yeah. LA Gears? Right, I remember that. When they came out, whatever age now, that, that was. That does date me that I remember LA Gears. First of all, I mean. That was the first light-up shoes that, that we saw in America. I don't know if they had them in Japan or something. <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't wear those at any school I ever went to. You couldn't wear a little bill jacket. We grew up. I mean, this I mean, was three, Oklahoma, four, five, not Atlanta. Six, you can get away with light up shoes. I mean, once your kids start you, kind of knowing what's going on in Heelys, would you let your kid wear Heelys? Yes. You let your kids. You let your kid do every lame thing that there is. <laughs> <laughs> You're wondering, I'm sorry, like, God. Heelys? Would you let I'm your kid so wear? Aren't those the those are the skate shoes? Yeah. That, yeah. It, but they yeah. actually were cool. They wanted those. Some. They yeah. wanted those. They asked for them. Nope, not my kids. That, be honest, kids are hot, are, are more. Uh, All your kids are. Be cool. honest, kids are cooler than mine. Right, right. I give you that. I mean, you know. Well, I, I wish I had had friends that had told me that you know that wasn't cool years ago. Mm. But yeah, well, you wouldn't have listened to me then. <laughs> it's too late now. Anyway, they're they're grown. So he worked through it. He I, worked through now. It. Everyone listens to social media. Like you don't okay. have to listen to your. It's not your your immediate peers. It's whatever's on your timeline Sheesh. now. That that's what shapes. Yeah, shapes what people do. I still think you guys should check out Black Lightning because it, it definitely is. Mm. Sure won't. It's, I'll check it out. I'm, I'm, I I'm just. I mean, just even for the. For, I'm just for the laugh. For the laugh. I, I watch it in yeah. traffic. <laughs> that's what that's, that's okay Ugh. all right scary well so speaking of social media we ha- <laughs> you guys saw the social media outrage at, at actually black china i don't know if she broke the internet but she definitely took over instagram well, for she, a couple yeah, of days she, 
she took everyone because my my entire timeline was yeah. Black Panther, Black Panther, Black <laughs> Panther, Black Panther, Black 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 China, Black China, Black China, Black China. I don't know how that happened. I think she was. I think it was done on purpose um, to get attention. But she put out a tape for those who who haven't seen it or heard about it. Yes. She was. There was a tape where she's giving oral sex. She's performing fellatio on a... Someone finally said it the right way. Because normally I always try to say, oh, it leaked. It wasn't me. Crystal just said, no, she put out a tape. (laughs) Allegedly. So it was too convenient, man. But she didn't put it out, did she? I don't know. We don't don't know who put it out. Supposedly Supposedly it was leaked. Phones are so... Insecure, you know, insecure these days that right. people get their phones hacked all the time. Anyway, supposedly the tape was. I'm saying, I'm no, saying no, no. I got, I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying that the whole the outrage is what's getting me. So we're not there yet. I know. Well, wasn't that kind of outrage though? Well, what, what exactly were people? You know how I am in social media, so I'm not really right. abreast of everything. So it wasn't. It wasn't the kind of outrage where people were like, "Oh my God, she's a mother. She shouldn't no. be. Your no kids are going to see this one day." No one day. was shocked. It no. wasn't that. It no, I was, heard it was like bored. Oh my God, you are terrible. We like <laughs> we've been fantasizing about your skills for the longest, and now yes. that we finally get a glimpse, we are all disappointed. Have we been fantasizing for forever? Obviously so. I, I, I found a clip, I found a video clip of a gentleman that put into words what he had, uh, you know, his disappointment. So we're, we're going to go to the clip now, right? Is that uh, my buddy, Junior Bernie Mac? <laughs> I like this guy. The Black China had a sex tape leak and everybody got all excited, only to find out the Black China cannot give head. This heifer cannot stand up to her fallacious responsibilities. I had way high expectations for you, Black China. You supposed to do way better than that. How disappointed I was to see you in the video sucking dick like you eating one sunflower seed. Which only makes me want to ask, Robert Kardashian and Tiger, what the hell was all the trouble about? You mean to tell me y'all went through all that for somebody who can't suck dick? Fellas, we got to do better. It is some beautiful, eligible, educated, gorgeous women out here with good jobs, careers. They work out all the time. They love the Lord, and they can't find a man for shit. And Black China out here, fake breasts, fake butt, fake hair, fake eyes, fake dimples, and she can't suck dick. And she got me in round the cone. I had a meeting with all the Chinese women in the world, and they want me to tell you, Black China, that they are pissed off with you. How you calling yourself a Black China? You know, suck it, suck it. China woman, no key to happy home. Suck it, suck it. Keep stomach full, ball empty. You can ask my husband, me suck it, suck it twice a week. And say, me young, why only twice a week? I say, because my eyes suck it, suck it. My husband going in coma for three days. You cannot be a black China no more. No more. No more black China for you. You have to name yourself after another country. Yeah, that guy. That guy's pretty funny. Is that a comedian? I don't know. It was on Facebook. It was just hilarious to me because it kind of summed up all the... I mean, there were threads, long threads of people. And in fact, a lot of women were just like, oh my gosh, she's not doing a good job. And I didn't realize that. I mean, to me, that kind of took me by surprise. I'm like, first of all, like I'm just over it. Like, I, I don't care if she's... You, you think she did a good job? Or she did a bad job, oh, I'm saying? Black China? Yeah, you think she, it was awful? Uh, yeah, it definitely did. It didn't live up to the hype. But I what mean, is the hype? What well, are we the expecting? Hype because she, I mean, she started out as a stripper, so she's been, right. you know, face-to-face, <laughs> one-on-one <laughs> doing these, you know, she's, she's leading t- people to believe that sexual experience with her would be something of a high level of quality. And instead, she's performing at the bare minimum. I would be, but I mean, okay, so I don't, I don't know. We've talked about this on No Nonsense Show a lot. Most women can't suck dick. Oh. Well, what I is did, I don't know most women. I would say about 85% of women can't suck dick. But so a lot what? of these bitches that's out here talking about she can't suck dick also cannot suck dick. Well, well you this- know what? It, what was weird, I found that especially those that tend to be a little bit more reserved mm-hmm. on social media, they were the ones coming out, well, I could do better than that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, quiet women will trick you. <laughs> is, is, is that so? Let me take a mental note. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. No, but I mean, 
I saw one woman was like, you know, she, <laughs> there are all these like there are actually classes that women take. I don't know if you guys are I've aware of that. that. There are classes that women take called head doctor classes, ever. where they're telling women to do all these things. It's like you know, make all these sounds and do all this extra. Stuff the grapefruit lady a, from the grapefruit uh, girls trip. Create all this I wouldn't be able to last. Saliva. The grapefruit lady. That's just Man. just too much going on. That's just. But why is that exciting though? I don't know. It just is. <laughs> that's, that's just so that's much. So go- weird. It's just so much going on. Like it's that's full fucking commitment. That's what most women do not offer, and that's why eighty five to ninety percent of women can't suck dick because they don't commit. 90? Yeah, it might be ninety five. They don't commit. What? They don't commit. It's lazy. Mm. It's it's it's. It's like what's the what's the goal? We all should have a goal in things that we're doing. I'm not sure what women's goal is when it comes to sucking dick. What are you all? What is your goal? black women? What is black? Women. What is your goal? Because other races of women, there's a different level of commitment. <laughs> what is your goal when you're performing or when a man? I want performing? her to. I want her to come. So okay, that's so not her. y'all's goal. I think it is. Where come where? <laughs> <laughs> exactly You see what I'm saying Now it makes sense right Uh huh It's like I want you to come But I don't want you to come uh-huh. I fully want her to come You know what You've, you've piqued my interest <laughs> Tell me more right. So the problem Most black women have Is that you can't get it On their hair That's well, right Why would you want to Why not Well Ornaments It's like ornaments. It's, like, it's like a Christmas tree A Christmas tree With nothing on the tree like, Come I, on You sir It's, 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 a, it's a visual thing You know guys You've said guys are visual Guys are visual but Right that's just- So okay So it can't go on your hair Because that's $50 To get it pressed <laughs> Hot combed again Yo, You know what I, I'm saying I, I sure need a whole Nother camera right here Just to catch <laughs> Crystal's Just, just I'm to catch just, Crystal's faces I didn't know what yeah. That this was it, did, The conversation was Going to take this turn Okay I really so, didn't So that was that We got that right So no okay. hair Face You know Y'all just If y'all feel like It's disrespectful Yeah It's not though I What's give disrespectful them, about it? If you came, if, if a woman came and shot whatever, dudes are not like, oh, ooh, ooh, get, get out. No. There are some guys that would. No, they wouldn't. Yes, there are. What? No, they would not. Yes, Come are. on, man. There no, they are wouldn't. guys that are not. Those are dudes in. that you should not be having sex with. So we get like two spots. Maybe your breast. Maybe. Otherwise, we got to put it in our hand or on the floor or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So there's like, no, you, I'm not wasting about perfectly the end. you, you better, you better tell floor. me, <laughs> you better tell me when you about to come. Horrible. So you got to lie. Look. And then hey, we hit their uvula. No, at least, at no. least the belly. And then, we're, hold we're, on. Hey. No, no, hold on. When it hits their uvula, then they get mad at what you. What is the uvula? That little thing that hangs down in the back of your throat like a. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> you did ask him to clarify. So I did, because I was thinking something totally different. And a little thing that hangs down in the back of your throat. Okay. We're not at the end. That was gag like, reflex. Gag. What black women? They just well, you I ask the question. Practice on something. Little white girls are practicing right now. On what? Things in their mouth. They're trying Poor to get that. They're, they're trying to get that <laughs> gag reflex to stop. You know what I'm saying? Actuating. They're trying to make sure. You know what I'm saying? Remote controls. Uh, cucumbers. <laughs> uh, controls. I've seen a girl put a remote control in her mouth. A white girl. Almost the entire remote control. It was a nice size remote control. Was that a strip club? Was that like? Was that? Tushies? This was in high school. Was that Tushies oh in Miami? This was in high school. This was in high school. <laughs> yeah. So the gag okay. reflex. We got. We can't. We don't. You don't want us to put it nowhere. You don't. You. Don't, you won't tune up your gag reflex. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just. It's lazy. I don't, it's I lazy. Is it, it? I haven't had those same experiences with black women. Okay. Some some definitely do it better than others. Right, mm-hmm. but like, saying if they they into it, they like you or they like what you bring into the table, mm-hmm. you get a little bit more enthusiasm. Nope, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I think that it, there's just a thing. There's like the stigma attached to what that act is. Okay, what is wrong with the way she was doing it? Oh, I don't know. I don't think it was anything that bad. I mean, it was it was a little slow, but we saw. 45 seconds. Like right. there had to have been something. Maybe that was the warm up. Or he didn't seem to be pissed off. Well, I don't. Is a guy ever? Well, he wasn't going to mess it up. Is a guy ever you know, pissed you, off? Have you ever stopped it. somebody in the middle and yes. said, "Oh, yes." Why is it so yeah, quiet? I would never do that. <laughs> <Why is it laughs> so quiet? I, I, yes, yes. You just lost me. I, I would never okay. do that. <laughs> hey, wait right there. So have you? Have you <laughs> had a few things straight here? Okay. <laughs> have you ever got a tooth? Oh, yeah, I've gotten tooth. And did you stop that? Yeah. Are you let that keep going on? Keep scratching uh, through the surface. 
the epidermis and the dermis. Well, well, <laughs> it depends. It depends how much tooth you getting, and then like later on, I might try to be like, hey, so <laughs> earlier you know what when, just happened, right? You know, I need you, you know, see this, this varicose vein. You uh, pull up in I my dick, Judah. Because <laughs> if you catch a tooth, you might. Oh, hey, all right, all right, all right. You know, you kind of you gotta keep in mind you. But do you don't stop the whole show? Yo, yeah, you don't stop because no, you at the mercy too. Man. No, you gotta like, go deeper. Then it makes it up. Uh, it makes it open. That's how you get that. You don't come out. That's how you rip all the skin off your shit. Mm. But this is why you address these things later. You let right. you let the teeth firmly get away from your soft, fleshy parts, <laughs> right? And then you engage in a substantive conversation that may or may not lead to an improved performance. I do want to say on behalf of the women watching and listening that men are not great at delivering either. Okay. Just just want to make that known that, you know, I I I, I dare say probably the same percentage. Ooh. I'm just saying, you know, it's just Touché. It's you waited just, seven think, minutes to share that. Like, you know saying, what I'm saying? Right. She's like, no, what maybe, can I say to to get them back? No, I'm just being right. honest. I don't I, maybe no one is good at delivering pleasure. I think she just called you a duty head. <laughs> like, it, it was like the softest Your mama. The softest rebuttal ever. Right. No, I'm just saying, I'm well. thinking about it. And I'm like, because women, we will stop a guy and, you know, tap him to come on up and act like we're just ready for the, you know, the main the main course. But it's really, most guys are not very good. Mm. Yeah. That's so why you, is this, that why you're all by curious? <laughs> Have you ever been bi-curious? Could no, be. I have not. I've, I have, I've heard oh. women say that only a woman knows how exactly. to touch another and she, woman. And she said 90% of that just a second ago. Now she's saying, oh, never. She's no, no, me. I said 90% of men don't know what have they're you, doing. Have you ever had a woman I have not. Sexually? No. Either way, you or her? You no, get it or you? No. Why, which one is worse? Because you made a face. I think it would definitely. Right. I mean, I, I definitely. She did just dry heave real quick. <laughs> yeah, I would, def- I, I would. That's not something I would want to. Which way? Do. Which one is worse? I would definitely think me doing it to her would be worse for me. You doing it, so you putting your face down there is worse. I don't like it. Really? Yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. Even in college. No, oh my God, no! I, Come first on. of all, I was married in college, and I was all the whole college, like freshman, like orientation. I got you got married junior year. Junior, yeah. so okay, the first two years. No, but nobody, never. No, no. you didn't you get know, drunk. I, I, no. I believe her though. Had she had she stayed for the after party? None maybe of my not, friends are by curious. I'm, I'm with you. None of my friends are by curious either. No, they're just not telling you. No, they're not. I'm telling you, all you my didn't friends, have any friends that like just got drunk and like tried I'm to kiss you. I went to school and oh, you're talking about in college. Like right now, you have by curious friends. I don't know. I have no clue. I know. I don't know. I don't. Do girls still do? Say their names. I don't you think say so. Everybody else's names. <laughs> say their names. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, so you have nothing. Be honest. Is cool with the with the with the black china. No, I don't. Yeah. I wouldn't want that. But I mean, I don't. I don't <laughs> know. Like I wouldn't want. That. I would, it, it did. It did look a little boring. But I don't understand what the outrage is. Like, what, is she? It's not your dick. I don't know. It ain't your mouth. I, I think the only reason that there was some. I don't even know if I want to call it backlash. But it was just disappointment. <laughs> it was Steph Curry with an air ball. But well, it's that, like you supposed to be Steph Curry. But that's what my to, issue is. But do, you, but do we assume that just because women are strippers or show their body that they're actually better at sex? No. We do. Yes, we do. See, no. they, oh, I no. think people do. Kevin, how often do you have you gone to strip clubs? Honestly, I'm not. I'm, I'm not joking you. But I mean, I want to know how. How, um, how is it? You know what? I actually, I went to strip clubs more when I was coming when I was visiting Atlanta than I do when I, I live. Okay. In so did you? Do you? Do you like? Did you meet or know strippers, or did you just see them in the club? Mm, I mean, you go often enough, you begin to get decent no. rapport. See, the thing, I can't say I like the, be chilling at their house, right? Okay, but see, I, I, I know I've known come over so, for Christmas dinner. No. The thing about strippers, most strippers is, is they don't even like guys, right? Because right. they're so um, desensitized and numb. They from they the see the worst of niggas. Like they see a nigga come in with his paycheck that he just got that day, and he still got Larry on his shirt. He didn't even change clothes where he came from yeah. his his job, and he spends eighty percent of his check on her with a ring on, and will talk to her about how his wife ain't shit or whatever, and he'll spend his entire. He won't even get a dance from anybody else. Right. So that type of shit. Plus, they see their home. They see their home girls, like their girlfriends, boyfriends in there mm-hmm. trying to kick it to them and bring them home or bring them to a private party. They they see the absolute worst in guys. So when I hear about a stripper not doing whatever with a guy, I'm like, makes sense. They don't even like guys. Yeah. Strippers do not like guys. No, I agree. I, agree. I, I know a lot of girls. I, I, for my, my novel, I interviewed like 60 strippers and most of them, some of them had been, had just been through traumatic experiences that caused them to do that. Some of them wanted to do it, but a lot of them had experienced something and a lot of them were just openly gay. Some of them were 
bisexual, yeah. but they really just and the ones that did like guys, they were very um, cynical in the way they looked their outlook on. Even if you did like guys, very dark. Even if you did like guys, but I would be too, I will though. say that, like part I, of I my been a strip. I've been a, 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 a publicist. No, I mean I've been a publicist with hip hop clients, and I feel the damn near the same way. Like after a while, you get used to seeing guys do certain things over. And you video think girl, and it just becomes like no, it just becomes what you've seen so much. You get very you know turned off at the idea because you see what excites even in, even men that are supposedly like the good ones, right? You know, you hear. I remember talking to one of my friends. I'm not going to say his name, but he. I just thought he was Lucky like him, the first best. one. He was like just the upstanding guy that you'd want to like Probably take you. home. <laughs> no, it was not him. But he's one of the guys you would think you'd want to take home. And 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 we threw a party where and had some strippers come out. And he was acting ridiculous. Did he fuck? I, I don't know. I I mean I don't know that. But he but the way he was acting like he wanted to. And he was like, yeah, Crystal, you know, there's another side to me. I, you don't see this side. And I was just thinking like. I now don't respect you. <laughs> like I thought, because to me it was so shocking that the good guy would act like that. You know right. what I mean? Like, so it's it's kind of disheartening. So I but can you know see what? why they don't. I'll, I'll say this. I'll say, and I, I hate that TV and film and, you know, all this other stuff has, has put this narrative out there. But the reality is there's no such thing as good guys. Yeah. I don't, I don't agree with uh, that. Like, I don't think there's any such thing as good girls either. I think there are people. And you might not, nece- you might have been sheltered. And so maybe you don't have certain experiences or you don't necessarily know about certain things. You don't know about, about sexual um positions or whatever or you don't know about alcohol or you don't know about drugs right just because you haven't had certain experiences but that doesn't make you a good person it just means you don't know shit I, that's not what i'm talking about though I, I i think there's a difference between a man that would take his paycheck and give it to a stripper I think it's irresponsible if someone does that. Well, but it's if, not a good guy. In a strip club, That's especially if you're in that environment, to see nothing but those type of people or people that present those types of values, you're not around a, 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 a hospital where people are like, oh, let me, but where just, men are like saving yourself, lives. Though. But you're contradicting yourself because you're saying like, there's no such thing as good or, good or bad. But then you're saying mm. if you're at a strip club where all you see is these type of people and you're not at a hospital where these, my thing is you don't know who is who. You don't know from the, from their from their profession mm-hmm. or from where they're born or from if they're sheltered or not. That has nothing to do with if they're a good person or a bad person. What that has to do with is their character because there are probably guys that you would assume Look a certain way that really wouldn't give a stripper all their money if they had a, a wife and sh- and you know and children at home. And there's some guy that girls think is like the best, most guy you would take home, and he's really a piece right. of shit. So I do think there are good guys and bad guys. We just have their <laughs> exterior messed up. But who's to say what's good or bad? I mean, a person that saves lives for twelve hours a day and then is a at night is a, a raging man whore and will fuck anything that's walking. <laughs> Depends on who you are. If you're his patient, then he's he's good. He's a good guy. If you are the girl trying to be his girlfriend, he's right, probably a bad right. guy. So so your perception of, of whether this person is good or bad has everything to do with the environment in which you meet them. And I, sometimes if that. you feel like a person, like, oh, all men are bad, it's because you've only been in environments or primarily been exposed to men in environments where they have to d- exhibit certain uh, values. <laughs> they have to exhibit certain That's values. Mm. But, uh, I mean, you know. Because you're not going to the strip club to say, hey, why are you doing this? Mm. But there, when you go to this, but when you are in a strip club or when you're around that environment, there are, there are guys doing very different things. Everybody's not doing the same Nobody's thing. Nobody's reading the Bible with the strippers at Onyx. No, they're not. But but there's some guys that are acting a damn fool and losing their mind and other ones that are that There are. Chill, you know? I'm just I'm saying I don't understand what the fascination is anyway. To me, I feel like the people who are so caught up in the idea that a stripper is gonna be so great in, in bed doesn't really go to strip clubs much. Ninety percent <laughs> of the stuff strippers do, you don't want them to do on your dick. Oh, like the coming down real fast oh, on the splits? Yeah, absolutely. Like yeah, all that. I like that. I always wonder why y'all like that. You can't twerk on a dick. What makes you y'all cannot. happy about this coming down real fast on? You the- can, but what, what, but that's what that's all outside. They don't touch. They don't make. They don't do anything. Here. Her booty shaking on one side or the other side has nothing to do with your dick. It's a visual, though, right? 
Yeah, but I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like the, it, the, the idea that that means you're good at sex, gotcha. I don't understand how that right. correlates. I've heard, I've had guy friends tell me that sometimes the girls that act the nastiest are not the best they in aren't. bed. Yeah. And then the girls that are very, you know, the church girls actually are freaks in bed. So I've, I've heard mm-hmm. men say that, that they don't expect strippers to be great at bed because sometimes it's all just an act to get your money and they really don't have anything to back it it's up. It's totally an act. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. They don't even like you, nigga. I'm telling you, they don't even like you. And there's so many guys. Stop taking your that. money. So they will take your money. Don't get that. They will they, take your money. And give every you guy to friend go that I know that I met in this in the entertainment business, they really, they're all their whole conversation is the same. Well, I mean, I don't even go in there with money, and I and I end up leaving with nothing. And I'm like, because they know you have money and want to use you later. <laughs> that's called like, a loan con. Yeah, exactly. But they don't get it, and I, I think it's awesome. I think that's I think that's men. You think that's, it's awesome. <laughs> I think it's awesome because I think that proves that women do have a superpower. Oh, my women God. can make men believe anything they want. No, it's just we have enough extra. What is it? Disposable income to fuck y'all. Well, that's a beautiful now, thing I as think, well. But you know, I'm I not think mad at I think that's income. the I think that's the t- <laughs> most toxic part of the interactions between men and women is that little chase, that little dance. Let me let you me give toxic? you enough. Yeah, really? okay. Yeah, it is. That's what you let, think is the most toxic think, thing. So it's okay absolutely. when y'all are winning. No, but when we're when we're winning is not. No, I, I think it's, I think that entire exchange is toxic. That's what I'm saying. What you mean? Fuck out of here! Get you ain't even hearing what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> Once again, women ain't listening. <laughs> Damn it! I'm saying I I say women have one thing up on men. Oh, it's a toxic dance. Yeah, there's you have nothing. There's nothing. There isn't one thing. But yes, I mean, that's a whole other show. Wom- a woman can convince a man that he has the biggest dick, that he's the best lover, and they believe it. So it's awesome. It's our it's our superpower. That's not a superpower. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is yeah, a superpower. Yeah, whatever. We convince y'all you're the only one. That is your superpower. Ta da! We're not cheating on you. We love you. We want to keep you. You want to wear you for you forever. That's not true. It, it don't feel good. And just say, yeah, way but on you guys us. never that's find out. We've never, we've never fucked any of your friends. Like we tell y'all. <laughs> right. Oh God! She would never do that to me. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. We know matter, that you will, man. And, and you know what? That's why. Matter of fact, uh, do I even want to? Because Tia P, man, she dropped off uh, some CDs and and T shirts for the revolution. I like I, Check I'm, it out I guess that's a strong uh, switch That is a strong switch Are we gonna yeah. stand next to each other In the revolution Or are we I think it's dope I think Cause we were We were talking a little bit about uh, Like the music And, and you know That kind of thing And I think she's a dope artist So thank you T.P. Appreciate it Thank you for the shirt Yeah T-A-P. Appreciate you I don't I don't have enough beard To use the pick though I don't Oh and That yeah. <laughs> that's you can't even stick it nowhere. Right. Yeah, I that that that's the fist on the actual CD cover is cool. The the, the you remember the people when guys used to have those afro. I, I found one of those in my wife's car one time. Oh, yeah. I was like, what the How fuck is this? <laughs> She's talking about. Oh, it's one of the kids. Her, her boyfriend had it. With like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> this afro pick. It was, a, it was a long pick too. Like it wasn't just like the little regular, like the like the small one like this. It was like. The handle was about this big, but the the, the spines were like that long. Oh like, God, what kind of afro was? How do you forget that big <laughs> shit? So we, we got to have a conversation. Was the seat back too? Was the passenger seat? Like, <laughs> yeah, it was. Way back. No, no, the thing about it was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there blunt? She was blunt able to, in here. to make you believe that nothing was wrong. Was right, it? right, that right. was her superpower. That's cool. Oh, honey, it was the, it was girls. It was it's nothing. cool. She tightened it up. She she put the elasticity back in it, so I didn't notice. <laughs> Oh my God! Wow! All right, all right, okay. Yeah, yes. I loved it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! So yeah, that's that. That's my thing. I never thought anybody was that big on Black China. I thought she's she's always looked a little disgusting to me, anyway. So, mm. but I don't like any of that stuff. I don't like any of that extra extra ass and extra extra titties and. She has like the the the, the piercing that goes. Yeah, I've never been into any of that. So like you know, what I'm saying it's just. Mm. But I think I think that that tape was released because she has a she has a reality show that's coming out right soon. So oh okay, know, see there we go. I, yeah, there now we it go. makes sense, right? Well, the guy the guy wasn't complaining, and I'm, that's you know. But he, I just don't think guys complain. I don't think either <laughs> side complain about. But bad he was sex. he wasn't he wasn't it wasn't that he wasn't complaining. He was giving positive reinforcement too. He was. He was giving. You got to build them up. If you go, if you're going to get some good dome at some point here, you got to encourage them the right. right way. Okay, I do have one question. Well, what what is it that men love so much? Because some, it seems like there's a a cult. Like there, the head is like almost more important than sex. Like what? Mm, not at why all. Why is it? I'm why opposite. is it so, uh, Kevin? 
Um, Why is head so important? Yes, yes. What is it about? It head is it's the foundation. It's the foundation <laughs> of good sex. I I feel like the only what it does is it says I'm I got the power. In this relationship, and that like, and you like that. That's it. The rest of it, the feeling of it, is not anywhere close to sex to me. Okay. So it's it's really just a it's the power dynamic. Oh wow! Oh. So you like feeling like you're in power? Not necessarily in power, but it's like you know you can talk shit tomorrow or next week or whatever. But every time I see you, we both know you put <laughs> my dick in your mouth. That's exactly why. <laughs> we that's both exactly know why we don't. That's exactly that you what know, I think. You can say anything. It's like you know, I fucked that, right? <laughs> you know, I fucked you, right? I mean, not only is it personal, but it's mobile, right? You you can almost get some head almost anywhere. <laughs> you know, <laughs> in the bedroom, out the bedroom, in the car. My you, entire point. I'm just saying. It, oh well. Mm. <laughs> not like that mobile thing. That's, that's I never thought about that. Yeah. It comes to where you are. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, Pun intended. It, 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 indeed. Indeed. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Have we sealed that one? I've, yeah. <laughs> you seem no more like questions. Yeah, I'm good. You sure? I, I got more. No, no. I, no, I have no. more answers for no, you. No, no. I have to make no. Crystal cut me off at least once a show. She did earlier, so I'm good on that topic. We can. We move make on. her stutter yet. She's been stuttering the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. I, I really didn't Clutch see this my pearls going this way. I just. I didn't see it right. happening. You didn't see yeah. it coming? Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> mm-hmm. I thought you actually had that shirt on because of our topic about gun control, actually. I thought that was the mm-hmm. target for us just, to shoot just you. Just Black Panther bullshit. I just oh wanted to sh- throw a shot. So Have bl- you still not been to Wakanda? I'm ne- you've never been there either. Stop it. You don't even know He's where it seen is. seen the movie. Your people weren't even from Wakanda. Your people from West Africa. Zamunda. I would rather be there. I said it already, though. <laughs> I have sex with my bathers. So I'm, I'm doing an article Those are some on, bad bathers. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm doing an article on the women. Can, but those are some bad bathers, though. I, I don't remember How could you bathers. be that that prince and not? Hey, like, man. I don't remember the bathers. And, you know, and, see, and was, they weren't there by choice. But I'm still. But he was so he was still so unsatisfied. <laughs> they were bathed. The royal penis <laughs> was clean. And he just. Yeah. He wanted to get a ratchet, ghetto-ass New York chick. He still chick. wanted his queen. He wanted Black China. Oh, I would have took one of them bathers. No, nah, back Black China would not have. He, would, he didn't want Black China. He wanted a smart girl with her Did own you see the, the meme with the the, uh, the other girl from, uh, not girl, but was it Vanessa Calloway? She said, when she was barking and yeah, coming to America, yeah. woof, woof. Yeah. Right. That was her trying to get uh, M'Baku's <laughs> inti- attention. That's cute. <laughs> I didn't see that. I'm, I'm doing an article, actually, on the female representation in Zamunda versus Wakanda. Because we see, like, we saw in oh. Zamunda, like, the women that were all very, mm-hmm. you know, submissive. And then in Wakanda, the women are very... No, come on now. Because in, in, in Zamunda, in Zamunda the, the most important part of the movie was because of the wife. Remember, they came to New York, mm-hmm. and he was just pissed off she at his son or whatever. Queen. She's the person who was like, nigga... Stop tripping. That was you back when you was a, a young young. Remember, right? No, that was I get that, that was the turning point of the movie. I, you I, can change yeah. tradition. Ayo Leon, Ayo Leon, Ayo Leon. Right. Yeah. So, but he, she still was. She kept it. She kept. She 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 wasn't by any means. Can I put my vote in for Zamunda women? You can. Okay. I, I'm not shocked that that's what you would vote for. Kevin, do not let me down. You're picking you're picking Wakanda women over Zamunda women. I have to go with Zamunda just because I just <laughs> hey hey. But I, from an early age, I wanted a woman who with aroused babe. my intellect as well as my loins. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I, I learned to look for a balance off top. So you don't think that Wakanda was a balance? They cool. They are. Right. They got too much mouth. The though. kid. <laughs> Nakia said I would be a great queen Because I am stubborn As opposed to Nobody wants to hear that (laughs) But you know what There In In Wakanda There Like women The qualities of women That were shown Were like the intellect Mm -hmm. And And their Their warrior Yeah The fierce Right None of that is sexy How many times Intellect a little bit (laughs) But she was too young How many times a week Do you want your woman To challenge you Kevin I'll wait 
<laughs> do I want? Well, how many times a week? I mean, do you I, want like, to I, don't, I like I like a woman that has her own mind. Oh yeah, like, definitely. I don't, against I, you? I, 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 yeah, absolutely. I don't okay. like uh, uh, whatever you like. Right. That shit bores the hell out of me. Okay, so you mm-hmm. so, so you just said you would prefer some. I need I need a conversation. That. Like I'm asking you your opinion. What do you think? I, whatever kind you like. No, damn it. What did you? What do you think? But what if she doesn't agree with you? Daily, she can challenge you. Like she doesn't have to agree, but have an opinion and be able to back it up. Well, I don't like this, and this oh no, is why come on! You asking like for far too much. Back it up. No, tell me what you think. Come on, man. That's not if you have a brain. That's use not the it. woman way. They don't I, back things up. They just say it because. Yeah, that, that, and well, that's a different conversation. Then they shut the pussy down. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> what are you saying about guns? I don't know. I don't, see I don't the, know. But see, <laughs> like uh, with the spear, mm. and she gonna do just. She was gonna kill her dude. She putting a spear through another nigga. That wasn't like that didn't turn me on. No. (sighs) I will say, but you know what? No one. I I don't think any of the women. They didn't. There was no twerking. There were no like in Zamunda. There was nudity. I I didn't see anyone's breast in Wakanda. (laughs) There are no strip clubs. You know what? I was pissed though. It was PG thirteen. When I saw the ticket, I almost didn't want to go see it. Like PG thirteen, I don't see those movies. I, I mean, don't no, go to PG thirteen. No women movies. were were twerking. They I didn't, did think that was. They didn't have on like something it's form family. fitting it's, to but show you know what? their. You get all the bodies. dollars because you can get all the people. Right. There, so I need to see some 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 gore and nudity and all that stuff mm. in my movies. Thanks. Okay. Well, so, it still has seven hundred eight million dollars. So I thought it was a Billy. I'm, I'm, I'm for there. I'm, I'm here for that. I'm here for that. We're not worried about your. I'm not an enemy. I spent my. I, I contributed to that seven hundred billion. I mean, million. So why are you wearing a Captain America? Because there has to be balance. But didn't, didn't, lost didn't, didn't Black Panther whoop Captain America's ass? I don't know. Yes, he, he did. He said that shit like I care Kevin about knows. any of them. Kevin knows. This shirt was a gift. I didn't purchase this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, in fact, there's a shirt that has a Black Panther holding up the fist in number one, and then the Captain America on another side, like. And another superhero. Captain America had to bow. How much pussy Black did Panther. you have to forego to know that about Captain America and You're Black so Panther? Horrible. That's what I want to know. I ain't never had a shortage. <laughs> okay, you, you you can't do both. Ain't never. You know they say you want a. Shortage. You know they say you you want a girl that can do both. Never have you seen them. Been, you want a guy that can do both, and they like got the the cosplay thing. <laughs> <laughs> you never. You've never seen that meme, right? Well, you know what? I will say this. I do think, strangely <laughs> enough, because women still like every everyone's. Going Michael B. Jordan crazy. All the women. I mean, he's are, are very still, attractive. And well, he wasn't. Oh, okay, whatever. He what? wasn't. All, he but, wasn't that when he was Wallace. He was just a regular nigga with some Wallace? with some Trey Songz first Fruitvale, braid. The, the, was that Fruitvale Station? First of all, no. Before first Fruitvale of all, Station. first of all, he is. But he was still a bad guy. No, when he was Wallace in the Wire, still choosing bad guys. When he was Wallace in the Wire, y'all was not checking for him. Then he got a little he money. A child, he started getting though. facials and he shit. He was like a child. Like that's not even. But he grew up and he's been Hey, there. I told you this women shit is personal. So you might as well have, stop oh, yeah. his argument. Women have been attracted to him for the last five years at There's least. There's an obvious bias. Don't. Michael B. Jordan likes anime. Matter of fact, I'm gonna say this. Fellas, oh, if you have gonna trouble, sell this motherfucker. If you having trouble getting women, I'm gonna just tell you straight like this. Do push ups. Just keep working out. Eventually, you also may not you, want to share the fact that you have a comic book collection. Hey, eventually they're going to come for you. That's not going to work. And they're going to sit there and read that comic book. No, they're not. I bet you. I you are. He it. is leading people down the wrong road. <laughs> he is, and I do think people are anime is, a, is cool comics. now, but it's not the type of anime that it's like the kind of anime that Chris Brown likes. All that weird shit that it's not Marvel comics. No, well, that's not anime, you know? is it? I'm a woman. You've done the research on what he likes? I'm not into what, what Chris Brown? Michael B., Chris Brown, what, what no, kind of... No, I'm just saying Michael B. Jordan. I know it's a different the, kind of if, anime. If he... It, yes, yes. there Because it's different because of the times. Like, the whole Japanese anime became really cool with millennial, with the millennial Dragon generation. Ball Z and that kind of shit? Yeah. Like, no that's pussy not our involved. Genera- <laughs> that's not our generation. That's not what, what Chris Brown like? Chris Brown does like that kind. But he also... Is, Women will like whatever Chris Brown likes. Yes, but not with other men, only with Chris Brown. Oh. I wouldn't suggest trying that if... You're not Chris Brown. Mm. Trust me. If a chick want Michael B. Jordan, she's going to be like, well, tell me about Michael this Michael B. Jordan, but that's the idea now that he's... I They're mean, lying. He's it's like, it's like when dudes right. lie to girls about Right. They will faithful. adapt. Read your comics. Do a set. They will adapt. 
That's my advice. Uh, I'm sorry. What were you saying? Just, what were you saying about a gun or something? I, I heard. Some, I heard the word gun. I would suggest not only doing a set but getting your money up. You may want to pay more attention to your wallet than the set. But okay, on to the guns. <laughs> on to the guns. No, this is a serious topic. I'm almost like we can't we can't segue into this without being serious. All right, I'm, I'm bringing. I'll it. try, but Very come serious. on, I'll bring it. It back. is serious. It's it. serious. Let's okay, so, I'm gonna grow up so we quick. know. No, we know that there was a school shooting in Florida recently, right? right? And this and the the assailant was 19, which is an old senior. I guess that's normal. Your birthday comes late or something. Um, 19 years old and had purchased an assault rifle. So, as a response, the students are protesting, and there's this whole conversation from with the NRA, President Trump. And the Republican Party about gun control, and so everybody everybody's kind of weighing in at a different place. There are some people that are saying it's more a mental health conversation, and we need to make sure that people are tested and that they are they're proven that to have a clean mental health bill before they're able to buy a gun. There are others that are saying it should be an age. Actually, President Trump is saying that there should be an age ban put on guns. And I didn't realize like until we were talking earlier that a 13 year old can buy an assault rifle. Mm -hmm. Um, And then there are other people that are just saying we should, you know, guns should be controlled even more than that. And it's, it's, that's, I think gun control has always been a really, I guess, provocative subject because everyone has such strong views on it. But with school shootings, that's definitely something that we know we have to do something. So where do you guys fall in that conversation? I definitely think, I think that mental health is a bigger issue than even than age. Because the idea that a person that has been diagnosed with schizophrenia, um, which is a disease that makes people, you know, have, uh, or, or paranoia, people th- assume things that are not true and makes them very defensive. Someone that has been diagnosed with that type of, of mental health disorder to be able to possess an assault rifle, that is petrifying to me. You know, I, I would agree. But you know what? And as soon as you said that he was 19 mm-hmm. in high school, I was instantly like, oh, okay. He gets mad because the kids were bullying the hell out of him. They were teasing the hell out of him. He's, but I think some seniors are the oldest. One I don't think he was. He was expelled. Be. He was coming back uh, later. Like he wasn't supposed to still be there, even okay. if he'd stayed. If he you're got the expelled. oldest one amongst a group of kids, they're going to roast you because you old. I don't know. These no, are kids. Not not at my high school. Them niggas was grown. You was not messing with them. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about the younger picking on the older. No, that, <laughs> but, is, that happened never in my high but school. But he was bullied for whatever reason, um, and that's happened. I mean, this is this has been happening, mm. you know, for for a number of years. Um, I think Columbine was probably the first big yeah. thing we saw with the students going home and coming back with, and they had a, a cl- assault assortment of guns, and they were able to purchase those. So Columbine. Mm-hmm. What's next? Sandy Hook? No, that, I that think there's been other there's been other play, there have been other schools that just didn't get. I mean, there's a it, list. it depends because certain schools and certain districts and certain cases get attention from the press, and not all of them do. But if you were we were to go back and actually look at all the cases that are that are listed, not the ones that make national news, because I think that's sometimes biased according right. to what district the school is in. Um, they're definitely we definitely have issues, and even even not. Nah, I don't know though. I don't know if we have an issue. I think this is still fluff. You think it's fluff? Because they keep trying to pin it on mental illness, and I'm like, uh, on mental illness. I don't it think that. I, I, well, someone that's schizophrenic or whatever. Okay, that's one thing. But if you're just a person that's sad and angry and don't know how to deal with like your self esteem or you know those types of of mm-hmm. fitting in mm-hmm. issues. I don't know if I can necessarily call that mental health. You're just it, it angry because he- these group of people have outcasted you. Around. I think that that's and I think that's a big misconception about mental health. And I and I and I actually had a a, a doctor that couldn't make tonight's show, but. I think that's the misconception. Sad and angry, extreme sadness and anger is usually a mental health issue. If it's depression, if it's um, a form of bipolar disorder, we're this, oh, this person is just sad or angry. People can be bullied and the way they respond to it tells you if they have a mental dis- disorder and certain things but can trigger a mental disorder. But we're not trying to know disorder. who those people are. We're not, but we should be if we're allowing people to buy guns. That's the that's that's the argument. If we're going to but allow can, you to buy an assault rifle. In that short period of time when somebody's at a counter to buy something, you don't have enough time to... Well, you have, there are certain things that you, maybe you should have that you should have to have to bring in a mental health evaluation. Wait, actually, you, you know one. what? 
well, I don't know. Well, yeah, maybe a mental health evaluation. I, I feel like the the community should be able to like vote on whether or not you can get a gun or not. Because I'm community? gonna tell you like this. Yeah, absolutely. I think because the kids always know. How the kids is that possible? Always though? know. The kids knew that they were like they were expecting him to come. But Kevin, how 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 would you realistically regulate the community that would go voting against everything on that we've we are being as a able to have a gun? Like how would what mm. community? How do they even know what community you're from? If it, what does that mean? Well, it, it because if people in the community already have an idea, the people that know you that that walk past you every but day, that could, walk with you, like how would they? Find I don't know. Those Maybe people? you need to come with references. So in it, order to purchase, a, in, in order to so purchase, it, at what could point just find then, a crazy person to give you a reference? Or at what point then does that is there like a statute of, of limitations? Like, okay, so I was crazy in high school, but hey, I'm better now. I deserve a gun. You know what I'm saying? Like, when, how does yeah. that end, and when does it begin? And your circle changes. You go to a you yeah. go to mm-hmm. a different to a college away from high school. If you hang then, with five other crazy motherfuckers, they all vouch they for all you. Vouch for you. Hey, but I don't think that makes hell, in even order to. Sense. But you know what? In order to get a, a place to stay. They're going to look at your previous rental history. Yeah, right? his, history. They, they want to find it's out. It's something that they okay, can put so into a system and j- go right, by your do you credit tear score. Up your places, to, so on and so but forth. They find yeah, you that just out. moved to this area. Okay, fine. But they find but they that want out. References. But they find no. They they use references, but they also look up your credit history. And if right. you have evictions on your credit history, it will come up. That's right. something that they can do very easily. But I don't see how they can actually look up. How other people view you, right. and that'd be biased anyway. But they because said, the big, tall, black guy at school, the other little white kids may, oh, he's scary. I don't like him. Like that. That's well, just say not for realistic. example, because it was, I saw an article that said that the police had been called to that young kid's house about thirty nine times. Wow. I didn't so you know mean that. to tell me that? Like that information couldn't be used to determine if he should be able to purchase a gun or not. And then they furthermore, was him? the gun that he used was that actually registered in his name? Yes. Whether the police called on him 39 times? Or it was called to his home. What does that mean? But we don't know I don't why. Know. I don't, see, so I don't then know. you may live yeah. with a, a fucked up person and you're not. My, right, my, thing, my thing, though, is we're about to change legislation. We're, we're trying to. I've seen that right. some, some companies have started um, distancing themselves from the NRA. Mm-hmm. But we're talking about, I hate to be the one to say it, but we're talking about a, a very small number of deaths. Very, very, very small number of deaths. I, I, Legislation is going to change for a very, very, very small. But you number can't of deaths. say. I mean, especially, I don't, especially I don't agree with that. talking to. It, the, it's not. It's a fact. It's not about a green. I right? mean, out, out of what uh, a few thousand students in the school, they lost seventeen. No, but about, to those parents, each one of those. Absolutely, one of those we have not only, You can't not say only that school that's deaths, not small enough to take action. But it's not just it school is, deaths. We also have people go back to their employment. They're a guy that opened fire on people in the all, church. Of all the that's mass how shootings, that phrase going postal. Yeah. That's that's where that came from. Of all the mass shootings that have happened in the United States, it's a it's a drop. A small number compared to what? The population, three hundred million people. We've only had we've had a a, a, a mosquitoes. No, but, other hair co- but a lot of, of other countries don't even have this type of. We're talking about this country, which is built on guns. No, nah, because that's like that's even so that's like, like an NRA member. That, Are you an NRA truth. member? That's like saying that nobody dies from drunk driving. So there's no. Re- it's only a small number. So. I agree, Kevin. Yeah, like no, you still got to take action. Far more people die in car accidents from drunk drivers than do from mass shootings. It's, the number is so small. Do we small. have those numbers? We do. I don't have them with I me, but I want to see. I, it. I mean, I, I believe. I believe that that you know what you know how most people die. You know how most people die from from guns. I mean, a, a alarming number. The majority from of people who die from, huh? From themselves, killing themselves. themselves Suicide yeah. is so much farther up up there than guns. I mean, than uh, mass shootings. But you want to ban ARs and stuff. ARs are not killing a lot of people. Pistols are because they're shooting themselves with them. Well, and that's what I'm I saying. Mean, like, assault rifles are not. I mean, what is the need for? What is the need for a pistol rifle? then to shoot yourself with? But an assault rifle assault has the ability to do right. That's. that's I mean, for that's that right. I'm saying is different. The, a pistol, someone could argue, that's for them to defend themselves, right? So if you get if to, in my, even though that's not what most people use it for to defend themselves, that's not what most people use their pistol for. They use it to kill themselves because those were that's what the real the real <laughs> stats are. That's what the stats are. More people die from suicides than mass shootings. 
First of all, when Far a person more. a person kills himself, I have to look that up. I feel I I can I it's I can absolutely true. That makes if sense. If someone's to me. listening, like Google that and no, look, it's yeah. alarmingly different. I can assume gap. that that, but that's a different type of crime. I don't even think that's. I a crime. guarantee you, a thousand so, people haven't died from mass shootings in, in the United States ever in so, history. So what that says, a thousand people, people have not. Listen, to what I'm saying, right, a thousand I mean, yeah, people have not died from mass shootings in America ever. So you're saying that all the sad and angry people, total. I'm saying that all the sad and angry people are more likely to kill them. Themselves than than others. The reason why mass shootings are so crazy is because you remember you remember because it only happens every now and then. I'm telling you, not that many people have died from mass shootings. It seems like it's a lot because it's so horrific and like, oh my god, at a school we can't go to the school, we can't go to the mall or to a church. At or church, to a movie theater. seven people here. Ten people there. It has not been that many people in the history of America. Well, like, unless you count, unless you count um, the Native Americans, because <laughs> that was that, the Trail of Tears was definitely. Are we done? Are you that done? Was, that was definitely a lot, a lot of mass killing. So, d- other than the trail of tears, <laughs> fast forward, mass shootings are that's not a thing. The point is, it's still um, too many, and I don't think why. So one would, is too many. Why would it's not one? But why would a person? I'm just saying. You're saying the point you're making is one is too many. Be able to buy an assault rifle? That does not make sense. I don't know why either. That doesn't make sense. So you're agreeing that we should. The ban Find on Find what age. we agree on Because the stuff we don't agree on I'm going to kill you on it Because it's not It doesn't make any sense to, to do All the stuff that we're doing Doesn't make sense Based off of A few deaths We don't do that In legislation for anything else Yeah we do What? I had one a second ago Oh damn Damn, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I mean you know Damn damn Heart damn. disease Heart disease kills So many people It's ridiculous But we're not doing anything for that you, you, I mean the legis- We are doing things for that what? People are making documentaries no, Every day Trying oh, to get people to stop we didn't, it, we didn't do it for cigarettes <laughs> Only for Columbine We didn't do it for cigarettes oh, oh Cigarettes is an interesting one We didn't do it one. for alcohol We didn't do it for alcohol It went the other way actually Really? Yeah How so? Because it was prohibition first Now it's legal <laughs> It went the opposite direction They thought more people Were dying because of pro, because yeah, but, of our, yeah, but the sale of those goods still are restricted to you, minors. You, you mean? Well, no, to adults. You you can't. I mean, yeah, to adults. Yeah, you you can't be a minor and then just walk up and purchase a lottery ticket. Right. Oh, I, I, a lottery ticket is totally safe for a minor, but they can't I don't think purchase so. one. Still, we agree. It's not safe. No, for them lottery, to have a lottery is the ticket. lottery is the biggest scam in the world. Hold but on. he just said that he doesn't think that I, I that, agree that young people should be able yeah. to uh, to buy an assault rifle. Sure, so you, you, it's easy. It's easy for us to agree on that. Yes, kids should not be able so to buy. So what age? Weapons. What age are we saying? Because because I was talking to someone earlier and they were saying, you know, the issue was a lot of um, a lot of war vets mm-hmm. have PTSD. They do, so they would mm-hmm. not pass the mental health evaluation, but. All of them have gu- have guns, right? So they're like, I don't think that we should take away. Okay, but hold on now. So it was good enough for me to have a gun when I was when I was protecting your life. That was the that was the argument. Mm-hmm. But if you were doing that at that time and you were healthy, because of the things that you've gone through, we know that that war triggers mental health disorders in, in most people that that go through that. Is it is it right for us to make them go through a psyche valve when they come back in order to? Retain their guns How about Because you have Every so often You have to come back Even for your driver's license you have I agree to it. They want to check your eyes And so on and so forth Or if you If you let it expire Then you got to take the test again And do all of that stuff You should be able to do The same thing In, in regards to a gun yeah. You should have to take your gun To make sure that it, it Passes a, a, a certain Like it's clean or whatever It right. hasn't been used You know what I mean You have yeah. to Go and, and you know do just like they do with vehicles and emissions tests, right? So it hasn't hasn't been used though. Like so, I don't know if it hasn't been used. You take it to the you firing know. range. You know what I'm saying? There, there's but it's, times it should be in good shape. But you're saying right? there like, should be a regulatory body that would examine it. What what are we buying assault rifles for though? Why why does the why does the 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 civilian need an assault rifle. That's why. That's why I don't understand. Why are we even? Why are these guns even? But that's a available? Come on, yeah, Those aren't for hunting. That's so. You're subjective. not going to shoot a deer. That's what I'm saying. So I don't. It's I my to, money. It's that's so subjective. But like, what do you need it for? What do you need weed for? But that's like saying, like, what do you need? First of all, weed is only legal if you use it for medicinal purposes. Okay, not, not true. California is recreational. But I didn't even say weed. I said weed. Colorado's recreational. Oh, uh, weave. Shut what do you up. need weave for? You don't need it. Shut I said weave. I just, I'm just saying that's so subjective. If I want to have but the, the the slippery slope is there. It's like no one should be driving sports cars. Why do you need to go that fast? Right. No, it isn't. If this. Can, Why do you need to go 400 if, miles an hour? If something can, which a sports car could, but not to the same extent. But if you could, if something is 
literally the purpose of the assault rifle is to kill large amounts of people. Why do you, that's not the same thing as weave. It's not the same thing as weave. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what Indians had died you know what? during these experiments? It was not Indians. What kind of hair is it? It's not Indian hair? They're not dying during the experiment. They got to be bald, ain't it? I you, cannot you, believe that you're comparing no, guns because, to No, because you're assuming... Yeah. See, this is, this, the, this is the picture you had. They've, they've sold you. They sold you this picture that you go into a beauty supply store and then backwards from that, there's some gracious Indian lady <laughs> in Bangladesh. She's like, oh, I just love to cut my hair. No. They're poor ass people in Bangladesh. They got them in like sweatshop. They just hacking their shit off because they can't afford. Did you see? So did Chris Rock do that? that I hair was getting ready to say Chris good Rock hair. did a good, a good hair special, yeah. and there was no one being hacked off. They're not going to show Chris Rock that. Well, they were donating it for God. I don't like, believe we're that. We're not talking about weed. You're right. We're not talking about we're weed. Talking about we're talking about guns. guns. But what I'm saying, the, the argument that I'm making, and it's a valid argument, whether or not I agree people should have ARs, because I don't think people should have assault rifles. Okay. So why are we but arguing? Because it's still. I think people should have the right to have them. I don't think they should have them. I think they have the right. It's that type of, it's that type of outlook that keeps us in this circle. So it's like, it oh, needs I don't to agree. be a circle. I don't agree that you should have them, but I don't believe that you shouldn't. And then when a when a when a nineteen year old goes and shoots up the school, oh well, he no, just it's fell not. Oh like, well, that's but that's not... one fucking guy and seventeen people out of the three hundred million people. Like, yeah, but more... it's, it's one fucking guy every three four months. Sports cars have killed more people than assault rifles. Hey, man, I'm sorry about Fast and Furious. But I'm saying though. When fast cars have I know killed you cared a lot more about that movie. people, I didn't. I hate that franchise. All of them. I didn't like any of them. Tokyo Drift was like the first one. Was like, eh. Nonetheless, I'm saying that to ban assault rifles just because of mass shootings, I don't think. I don't see. That's why I don't see it. I, I just don't think. You know how many people have assault rifles? Have you fired never an used? assault rifle? Yes. Do you know? How many Did people? you enjoy it? Yeah. Is that why? Maybe. Is that why? Because assault it's, rifles are fun. Do you go to the shooting range? Do you shoot? go to the shooting range? Occasion. You enjoy it, right? It, it's a release. It's kind of like um, it's a thing. Yeah, it's it's not it's not like for nothing. I'll put it like that. It's not for nothing. It's not like you have a gun just for nothing. You have a gun for protection, but you also have a gun for recreation. It's Which a recreation. Is just to shoot off. Yeah, but like BB guns or pellet gun, or hell, a paintball gun is for recreation. No, 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 no. A there's a difference in shooting a paintball gun and shooting a, a and paintball gun stings like motherfucker. Yeah, but there's a difference shooting a paintball gun and a pistol. There's a difference. It's, it is. It's a, there's it's a different release. And if I want that, da, 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 if I want that feel, I want right. that that rush. Right. I can get it from a paintball gun. I'd be interested in knowing the for perc- recreation. What's the percentage of people who own it are? Assault rifles to people who you know have ma- do mass shootings from them. I'd, I'd be willing to bet a lot of people have assault rifles in this country. I think so too, and I think and there, there are, are very few mass shootings. So that's like. But that's, I'm saying, but not only not only mass shootings, but they've also un- discovered assault rifles with people that are selling drugs. Like th- these yeah. weapons, they're gonna have them. Well, they're gonna a, have them anyway. I will say that I do think it's a it's a trophy gun. Because when you when you get around those type of people mm-hmm. and you want to show off your gun collection, yeah. or maybe you just want to put fear in somebody's heart not to come around here and be on some bullshit, then you might say, hey, I got this on the wall. Right. You're not going to say... I might pull I, this out. I guess... I mean, and I guess that's why we're not going to come to... A, it's not Our gonna country happen. is going to continue to go it's around not, the it's never, They're never going to ban Even it. our... Outlooks. The three of us are very, very different. Either we're going to have the freedom or we're not. Either this is America and we're going to ba- go based off of the idea that we all have the choice to do these things or we're not. These freedoms are killing us. What? No, I they're agree. not, though. These freedoms are killing they're us. They're not, though. But you know, I think so you would feel different. Right. I think you would feel guns different. Are primitive. <laughs> I think you would feel different if you had a connection to one of these shootings because right. it feels different when you're looking at it when it's all numbers. And you may not, yes. but it's happening every three months and they're different mm-hmm. places, be it a mall, be it a, be it a, a church, be it a, a, a job where somebody unleashed on it. It doesn't matter. And I don't, I'm sure the numbers add up to over a thousand ever. But In the point is, is, no. But I, I, I just, don't believe it that. doesn't make any sense. But, but like I said, because we don't, Everything doesn't go to CNN. And then make it so bad. Hold on. One guy tried to sneak a bomb onto an airplane in his shoe. And ever since, ever since that happened, anytime you fly, everyone has to take no, off no. their shoes. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, are no, we that, everyone you? has to go through no, the checkpoint and take off though. their shoes. But that was because of yeah, yeah, planes. Yeah, a whole lot of stuff hitting. was because of 9 11. A whole <laughs> lot of stuff, right? <laughs> Planes, I'm just saying. But are, you, planes, are you a 9-11 truther? 
planes, people were getting things on I'm planes not, was because of 9-11, not the shoe bomb. It was the fact that two planes hit the damn World Trade Center. Or no did one died they? from the shoe bomb, yet we or all got to take off all our shoes. They were really missiles, right, Kevin? Whatever. George but, Bush was remote control driving them. I never said that. I don't know. Are you a 9-11 truth? I asked where you are. Are you... <laughs> You just be a, like four in the morning on YouTube. <laughs> you know no, I think that's all ridiculous. That whole thing. But anyway. But I, my point is it, it that everyone's position is different based on their their perspective and their and what they've experienced. Yes. But we still have to pay attention to the masses. They we're talking about mass shootings, we're not paying attention to the masses. Yes. If it had directly affected my life, I would definitely have a different view on it. But, but at the same time, should they change legislation for just me? And that's what I'm saying. Well, haven't there been like what, what, fifty mass shootings already this year? This year? Yeah. I don't. Oh man, I don't know about I that. I saw. I saw some report, and maybe, and maybe I could be wrong. I might not, because I saw that on the internet. So maybe the numbers aren't aren't completely. What accurate, what what, right? what institutes them? Is it more than three or something? What's a mass shooting though? I believe so. Okay, so I, I don't know exactly what that criteria. Let's, I, actually, I mean, let me see. What I don't I know, but I, what I'm saying is, is that I don't expect. For legislation to be changed just for me. So when you're saying it's personal, yes, if it were, if I had a family member or I had been shot in a in a mass shooting, there have been nearly as many. There have been 30 mass shootings in the U.S. so far in 2018. Wow! And this was uh, this article. How many people? On February 15th. I mean, there's 30, so we'd have to go through each one. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's a number that says how many. And in all have died in 2018 from mass shootings. Yeah, that's probably a different article, but the point is, 30 <laughs> is a lot. I'm sorry, 30 is 30 is a lot yeah. from January 1st to February 15th. So, you oh, know, there've already been 30 mass shootings in 30 2018. Mass, yes, in in 2018. So, I, don't so I found it. something <laughs> here online and said that at least four people must be uh, injured or killed. So injured, considered a mass shooting. injured or killed. Okay, four or more. Okay. All right, so then see that's then yes, if if that's the definition, I can believe thirty mass shootings have happened, but that's ridiculous. Come on, come on, thirty mass shootings and four people got shot every single time. So four times thirty. No, but that's but you, not. I but they're not saying they said at least at least four. That's not the point. The point is that's enough regularity for us to say there has to, something has to happen. If there are situations where when children were kidnapped, I don't. Of course, most children are not kidnapped, but at the time when there were. When when um, I think the Adam I can't remember the little boy's name it was in the eighties was kidnapped and then they here in Atlanta the Atlanta child murders or well whatever? that that was a different thing but I'm, uh, I wasn't talking about that but there are laws created for specific things and there and that's not wrong there are laws that get put in place because right. something has a you know something has mm-hmm. a significance and we realize as a culture that is wrong so for there to have been thirty mass shootings in two thousand eighteen to me that says there's enough of this happening for us to need to us to take a second. And look at our gun laws, and so now are you wrong. saying all guns are just assault rifles? My, per, my personal, perspective, I think all thirty of those were not assault rifles. I, I don't, I don't know, I don't I know. know they the, the article doesn't say that, but what I think is that we do not need people under the age of eighteen to be able to to buy guns. And 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 the crazy thing is, most of those shootings are not from people under thirteen. I'm just saying, I mean, under eighteen, that's not necessary, right? But. Also, I think in order for you to be able to buy an assault rifle or any type of gun, you should have to have a mental health evaluation because we do not, even if you think that's not a lot of people, we do not need guns in the hands of someone who's not mentally healthy. It just doesn't make sense. I don't see how anyone could argue that that is not a bad, that's not a good idea. But you know, I I feel like even with those mental health evaluations, because in some ways, all of us are broken. Right. All of us have have scars from like because that's going to become no one can get a gun. I don't think that's going to become no one can get a gun. Do you think everyone is is would come I up think, I on think, a mental I evaluation? I think a lot of people are conveniently going to fail their mental health examinations. Why? What, why do you think that? Because they're going to they're going to say they don't want whoever they don't want to have a gun just right. didn't pass the exam. Why well, nobody black got and a gun? Now it's plausible. I, I so so. Why don't we so have black do mass shootings? So what? I I don't think it's a color thing, Kevin. I don't. I don't think this is a cover. I saw a meme it may that be was a cultural like, thing. Uh, you know, it's not happening. As many black kids have guns or black men are dangerous, it's not happening in the hood. 
they are they are finding targets. They just may not be be numerous targets, but they are they are using their guns. Hey, black people they, are able to use their guns also. They, we, absolutely, we but that, we're not. They're just not coming back into the school and shooting twenty innocent. Yeah, people. but they're shooting not each other. Once. In Chicago, so many people have died. That's what I'm gonna say. Like in Chicago, right. they're shooting each other. That's not better. Like I. I, I I don't want to argue that. And that's why I think that's such an ignorant argument. Somehow that, those gang members know to stay away from the school. Well, I mean, you know, that's that's the way you get out of being shot at a mass shooting is skip school. I never got shot at a mass shooting. I was always at home when, they were at, when everybody else was at school. <laughs> skip school. That's how you get away from this. Listeners. Kids. Kids. You, know what, you, what you, wanna, you want to not be shot in a mass you. shooting? <laughs> skip school. You know, what do you think about the teachers? Because that's been been thrown around right now. What do you think the about teachers the teachers having, being given guns I, as a solution? I, I mean, I I don't have a problem with that. You know, I don't have a problem with that. I think, but the thing about that is, I do. I don't have a problem with it, but I think that as long as it would be done the right way, but that's still no way to to ensure that. I mean, you would have someone that was armed. But if someone walks into a class and the teachers, you know, on the there's there's no that's no guarantee that that's going to stop people from getting hurt. I don't understand why they can't just put a really, really, you know, high tech fence around all schools. That way that you don't have to lock the building. now. Because, I mean, the idea is like Joe. I mean, Joe Brown locked the building. Yeah. Who is the guy from Joe Clark? Joe Joe Clark. Clark, Cold 10. Where you put chains on the doors and stuff. In my high school, they actually did, though. We had a metal detector after a while. What was this? Grady High School. Yeah. They, well, huh. After at first it was at okay. My, my high school had metal detectors. But why don't they just put why don't they just put up a nice, nice tall fence around the school? It'll look like prison from the outside, yes. But your kids will be safe. They won't have to lock the doors, and they have one security, one armed security guard at the front, and and that be it. He don't go inside the building. He's not responsible to, to interact with the kids. His job is just to sit outside and make sure don't know shit happen. Uh, I mean, what if a kid, I don't know how those, the kids from Columbine, they, they actually attended that school and they came back to school. But to, you, you to, have to go through that front door where that guy with the gun is at. With the mental, with a metal detector. Yeah. It is, he, I mean, you know, he's not, he's not out with his gun, like drawn. Right, he's right. He's inside like a little shack or whatever that's right by the door. <laughs> he, oh, like a little security. Yeah. Like, you know gate. what I'm saying? He, he has access to a, a weapon and he's there and you have to go that through the metal detectors. Sh- yeah. I mean, I, I, so what is people, your issue with teachers having guns? Because teachers are fucking idiots. A lot of teachers are idiots. Like, j- just as many idiots are in the world, the same percentage of them are teachers. Like, it's not like teachers are all great people. There's a lot of fucking pieces of shit teachers. I, They're fucking I, kids. I'm inclined to agree. Like, my thing is this. I'm, I'm not so... More kids well, are getting fucked by adults. teachers than are getting killed. I knew you were going to do that. Let me say this, because they're I still knew adults. I he was going to do that. Oh, my and God. And adults are allowed to have weapons, right? Yes. It's in our Constitution. Adults are allowed to have weapons, right? But the more weapons that... Like, it's a matter of time before one of those kids, especially one of the bullies or whatever, gets a hold of the teacher's gun. right. And like instead of them for having to go home and get the gun through some other type of means, sneaking right. it out of their dad's closet or whatever, right. now all they got to do is wait till the teacher turns her back. Or is it get a substitute that's old as fuck? We used to throw paper at the substitute when they turned her back. I, I, I <laughs> thank you. You thank know what I'm saying? Yeah, too. Yeah, it was, that was classic. Right. Yeah. Never gets old. Hey. <laughs> Just okay. Great show. Great show, guys. Um, <laughs> we we this have not uh, come up with a they. We have no agreement on. It's not going to change. It's not going to change. Well, no matter how much y'all fighting, yeah, it's not going to. NRA is very powerful. Yeah, they didn't even want to make a law when the they guy don't want to change and Shot all the Republicans at the baseball field. They don't a couple care. months ago. You remember that? You okay with that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm not okay with it. They weren't changing the laws. I'm not okay. I know, they they're, 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 they're not. They're not. They're not going to change. It's not going to change. And all these companies that are that are deciding on the other side or whatever. Come on, these kids that are sending tweets and shit. Come on, get out of here, kids. Yeah. I went to I went to a gun range for the first time a couple months ago. Did you enjoy yourself? I did not. You didn't? I didn't. I don't. I don't enjoy it. But so you don't like pussy. You don't like guns. What the fuck? <laughs> But I but there was a lady there. How are we friends? It was you don't I, I like don't, the shit that I, I like. I, we don't. <laughs> there was a lady there that owned the place. A, a little older, a little older white lady, and she was adorable. But she had her pistol on her, right? And she was like, a, she was like one of those gung ho NRA, of course, you know, owning a a gun facility. But right. I remember thinking like these people are just really too excited about guns, like. Right. Why are we so excited about something that? What would you want to be excited? What, what story would you be excited in? Because I'm saying I'm sure you've got one. 
And see now, who, who are you? Who are you to say what's exciting to them is bad? Boy? Obviously, I mean, I, 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 enjoy, I actually was interested just because she was so enthusiastic. I was like, there must be something amazing. Now she did show me a really cute pink one that was all like a design. Got your ass. Like she knew what, she she saw that she, she was did. like she's like no she's not belong here. Let's <laughs> so she got the one that's blinged out with this She one showed me a blinged out one. Right. She was like, oh yeah, this is it was blinged out with a little pink carrier for wow. it. And I was like, I would like I mean I would never use it, but I yeah. For, that's Freeze what Kevin said. Dirtbag. Kevin said you put it up on the table and say, Here look what I got. That's what it is. It's all it's you know it's, it's recreation, it's show off, it's yeah. Powerful. I guess it's uh, Americans like power. They do. And so guns are very powerful. I don't think it's going to change. You know what? Violence is very American. I've heard, yeah, we've been saying Violence that. Violence is, it's, it's apple pie. Jesus Christ. Well, I, I've, I just, you know, if, if anyone is on the other end of that and you have a child that goes to school in, one, in the morning and doesn't come home due to a, a mass shooting, that I'm sure would change everyone's opinion. It's nope, just, just like, that one person. That's what I'm saying. Okay, change yeah. your opinion if that happened to you. Um, and so a lot of times when people make statements, and I think even even some of those card carrying, gun toting NRA members, if they were on the other end of it, they may feel differently because they have, somebody has to have been at some point an NRA member has had to. They have to, to have not, had a, but to somebody not even get killed acknowledge by a gun. that maybe allowing people to have something that could potentially kill numerous people who is not mentally stable. Man, it's, in, a, it's in our constitution. And you know what? Just because someone is on the under end of it doesn't mean that they're going to change their views. It right. doesn't. It sounds but it, but likely. It, I mean, right. people have gay kids, and they're still against homosexuality. People like their kids are are having interracial relationships, and they're still against other races. It's like that's God. a little it, bit different. It's like God. Death. God. Ha- God is supposed to be the father, but he got homosexual kids, and you know they say God hates fags. Right? I think. I think. When I, I don't think it's if I don't know who they is are. Going to happen. There's a whole I say group. When they show up at they, they show up at funerals and all kind of and shit. And I think the kids are going to do it. The, you never seen that? The legislation or whatever. The kids are, are fired up. The kids are pissed off. The kids are. The kids are ready to make some change. And I think they can make change. I'm I'm the same way that it was kids who were doing the sit-ins in the '60s right. and all of that. I see the same fire out of these kids who are protesting. Guns. I don't. This shit is so short-lived. Good All luck, right. kids. Keep at it. Yeah, we say good luck. These, this motherfucker over here. <laughs> no, good luck. Good luck, kids. Let me work on him, man. Y'all go get I Marco Rubio. I only, and all I have is a small. I have a <laughs> small right. pistol. It's it's only made to protect the people that live in this home. It never leaves this house. Pew it, pew. But it's you got, got pew pew. It's a pew pew, but it got, got a little shit. It got hollow pew, points. Pew. It'll pew pew that ass. <laughs> run, run up on it if you want to. A little kick, but once it hit, it's gonna come out your back, your bike. You are a former. <laughs> Were you in the Were you in the Navy? I was in the Navy. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. Hey guys, be honest. Was in the Navy, so yeah, his viewpoints are now. See, now we're going to get as a former Navy man, he's going to be commenting all Is over. Is it the YouTube. Navy? Who are the people that are crazy? Is it the Navy? Crazy. Is it the Navy? Marines? Marines. Okay, okay, Marines. I'm about the Marines. Yeah, I, th- I thought Marines aren't crazy. Hoorah. Were you in the Marines? Mm, the <laughs> Marines are part of the Navy. Of course they are. Yeah. Yeah. They're part of the Navy branch. That makes sense. Yeah. All righty then. All right, guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's show. Um, we went from Black China to gun control and everywhere in between. Chris, so- Rock, Chris Rock said you should charge a lot for the bullets because that means you have to really just want to kill somebody to shoot. He did yeah. say $500 a bullet. That, that, that works for me. You should have to register too. The accountability, I'm, I'm with all. Yeah, I think you should yeah. have to register. You can't just be given buy them from the police station. What if you had to buy your bullets from the police station? That would, I mean, would you feel comfortable That'd slow doing it down that? A yeah, bit. that that would definitely slow it. So down. you get there and say, "You look like somebody. We've been looking for you." <laughs> Let me you give you a go. mental health examination, <laughs> right? <laughs> I think just things are going to just stay the way they are. It's just it's how it is. For you know what? What it's part of the Constitution. I think right to bear arms. Have, just get out of yeah, here. Yeah, right it's, to bear it's, arms, it's but there, but that there can be amendments made to that. Yeah, I'm good. Until something happens to don't wish that on me. Don't wish that on somebody I know. I'm saying somebody you know, like that. That that is. We have to look out for our brothers and sisters. No more sports cars. No more um, salt. No more. You know know what? Um, 
Yeah. Okay. Did you say salt. He salt. did. He did. I thought he was going to say meat next. Sodium <laughs> right. and salt kill us. Next, he's going to say it's the cows. Yeah. More cows. beef. And they have the- that's what's killing black people. Salt. Some like table salt. It was <laughs> iodized table right. salt. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this show, <laughs> make sure you share with someone else too. Because pew, this pew. Is too much to pew. just keep to yourself. You definitely would want to share this. We have basically suggested that guns are as necessary as weed. I think uh, said weed. No, I she did too. Thought, I said I weave. did too. I thought you meant weed, but he meant weave. And it, I'm I'm how how okay. Fair question. Before we go, just for, to get us out of here, <laughs> <laughs> to get us out of here. Oh shit. Could you not ever ha- use weave ever again? Ooh, I don't See? have it today and I He's, miss it. <laughs> but I'm saying like I I'm, I'm just I'm just Think like, about if you were it's like it's not enough on you. That old lady in that gun shop is just like that. She's like I couldn't do without it. She she is. I like her. I mean, shit. I really Yeah, all right. Everybody says that shit, but wait wait till the revolution come. Oh my God! Don't wait, say wait that. To, hey, the fabric of our society is unraveling as we, as speak. we speak. When this is. shit goes down, this Mad Max levels, man, ain't gonna be no weave, ain't gonna be no guns, <laughs> ain't gonna be none of this shit. <laughs> well, be honest, has a small pistol. You have to make your own alcohol. <laughs> it's not the size of the pistol that matters. <laughs> <laughs> stir it up, stir it up. Stir it we'll up. see y'all stir next up. week. Stir it up. <laughs> <laughs>